You all are aware about adenosine triphosphate or simply ATP molecule. When we are dealing with the biochemical reactions, we always lay on this molecule for the purpose of energy as it is also called the energy currency of the cell. So here in this video, we will be discussing its structure first, then we will try to understand why and how the ATP gives out the energy in biochemical reactions. As I have already determined this molecule as the energy currency of the cell, so all the reactions in our body rely on this molecule in order to drive the reactions. First of all, let's see the structure of ATP molecule. When we draw the structure of ATP molecule, we have nucleoside part first. That's adenine, nitrogenous base plus ribose sugar. So this forms the nucleoside part. Then to this nucleoside part, a triphosphate is attached. Three phosphates in a linear fashion and final result comes out to be nucleotide that's nucleoside bound to phosphates. So ATP molecule is basically the nucleotide molecule. To distinguish between nucleoside and nucleotide, have a look at this diagram. Nucleoside is a combination of nitrogenous base plus ribose sugar, while as the nucleotide is the combination of nitrogenous base plus ribose sugar plus phosphates attached to the molecule. So this is the molecular structure of ATP molecule. Plus we have also differentiated the nucleoside with nucleotide. Now let's see why from the ATP molecule releases energy and how it releases energy in the biochemical reactions. First of all, keep this thing in mind. It's not the whole ATP molecule which gives off the energy, but it's actually the bonds that release the energy. When we see the structure of ATP molecule, we have got three phosphates attached to the nucleoside. And there are three phosphoanhydride bonds between these molecules. But the phosphoanhydride bonds between beta and gamma phosphates delivers the energy in reactions. These phosphoanhydride bonds are very high energy bonds. And it's when the water molecule comes in and hydrolyzes the terminal phosphate. The bond is broken and we get the energy for cellular processes. So it is the ATP hydrolysis that gives the total energy. In that reaction we get inorganic phosphate also plus ADP molecule along with the energy released from the bond. In the hydrolysis reaction the ATP is hydrolyzed by water molecule and in this reaction we get the products in the form of ADP plus we get terminal phosphate in the form of inorganic phosphate. And also we get the energy and this energy comes from the bond which is broken between oxygen and phosphate. That's phosphoanhydride bond. If we go further, ADP molecule is further hydrolyzed for its second phosphate, releasing the energy again, we get the AMP that time. That's adenosine monophosphate, as its beta and gamma phosphates have been removed. Now getting back to the first reaction, we see in this reaction, the ADP plus inorganic phosphate recycles back to ATP in the ADP-ATP cycle, which we have already discussed the ATP ADP cycle. The link slides in for that video. It must be noted that hydrolysis of phosphate groups in ATP is especially exergonic process because the resulting orthophosphate group is greatly stabilized by multiple resonance structures, making the products ADP and inorganic phosphate much lower in energy than the reactants. While making of ATP molecule from ADP plus inorganic phosphate, that time it's endergonic reaction. But at the end, we get the total energy gain because the energy needed to break the bond in ATP is always lesser than the energy released by the molecule. And also remember, this ATP molecule is not a stable molecule and it always tends to kick off the terminal phosphate. The high negative charge density associated with three adjacent phosphate units of ATP also destabilizes the molecule, making it higher in energy. Hydrolysis relieves some of these electrostatic repulsions, liberating useful energy in the process by causing conformational changes in ATP structure. And that's why ATP molecule lose terminal phosphate on hydrolysis easily. So this is all about the structure of ATP molecule and how it releases energy and why it releases energy. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.